the impact of the fear, isolation, and interruptions to learning that were a part of the pandemic is going to be felt for many, many years. Alberta's government wants to ensure every student has the supports they need to be successful in the classroom, which is why they're increasing funding by $126 million over the next three years. As the overall number of students in Alberta grows, so does the number of students with diverse cognitive, social and emotional needs. Schools have seen an increase in complexities over the years. The funding means more staffing supports to address the diverse and complex needs in the classroom. Education Minister Adriana Lagrange says the funding will allow schools to hire more teachers, educational assistants or specialists such as counselors or psychologists to enhance the learning environment for both students and staff. However, Alberta's opposition NDP says this funding will not undo the harm done by the UCP and say, quote, Daniel Smith and the UCP have starved Alberta schools for four years and students with complex needs have borne the brunt of this cruelty. The pandemic just exposed the weaknesses that we knew were in the system kind of already. A research study from the Alberta Teachers Association late last year found up to 85% of teachers have seen an increase in the complexity and diversity of students' needs within their classroom, including cognitive, social and emotional needs, as well as behavioural challenges. 56% of teachers have also reported reduced supports for students with special needs. This psychologist says it's a step in the right direction, and underfunding can result in students falling through the cracks. Most students uh, who are showing any sort of difficulties with their mental health, it's going to show up in the school setting. That's the that's the one of the first places, and in fact, the main place that it's going to show up. Just last week, a 16-year-old boy from Edmonton killed two officers before turning the gun on himself. While police say he has no prior criminal record, officers have been called to the home before, including for a mental health complaint. Dr. Schwartz says it's important for school to not only make mental health services available to students, but accessible as well. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.